What is poppin' you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Simone back with another video. My channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that thumbs up button if you enjoy today's video also make sure to leave a comment let me know what you guys want to see because what you want to see I will deliver today I am actually going to be doing a unpopular opinions video I thought this would be pretty fun um, you guys can get in my head a little bit you know get my opinion on some things so I basically I went on Google, I looked up some unpopular opinions, but I also put a question thing on my Instagram and said to ask me some unpopular opinions. And that's what we got. So let's get straight into it, this should be fun. So I'm gonna start with um, the unpopular opinions that I was asked on Instagram, and then I'm gonna get into the ones that I found myself. Oh, I need to show y'all. So usually people be having their phones and stuff, but I'm, I like to write. Like when I have ideas, I like to write them down. So we got my handy dandy notebook. My dog just busts in here. No Dakota. My dog has learned how to open my door somehow, some way, but no sir. So let's get straight into it. Our first unpopular opinion that I got off of Instagram um it's transgender relationships and the lgbtq community this is how i feel about this i love everybody i do not judge i don't feel no different type of way about anybody based off of the decisions they make and who they are as a person people should be able to do what they want to do they should be able to love who they want to love who am i to tell you who to love who am i to tell you what to do you know what i'm saying i really feel like there's not much to say there you should be able to do what you want to do i love everybody i need some water i should have sipped it first but yeah i love everybody and i think that people should be able to love who they want to love date who they want to date be who they want to be and who they are so that's how I feel about that. The next one is that NBA young boy is trash. <laughs> Y'all petty. I don't think that NBA young boy is trash. I actually vibe out to a few of his songs. Do I think he's the best rapper ever? No. Do I bump him all the time? No. But I don't think he's trash. I do think he has talent. Like he has a lot of music, you know? So I I definitely mess with NBA young boy. Oh, I love that song. Um, As I on my window. I don't know. How it start? On a roll, cool, ride, ride with the top down. Y'all know what's about. I probably said the wrong words, but whatever. So the next topic is that ranch is nasty. Who don't like ranch? I mean, my first salad dressing choice would probably be like an Italian but I love a good carrots and ranch you know like if there's no Italian ranch is probably my second option you know like when I have a wing I'm going to probably eight times out of ten dip that wing in ranch I don't think ranch is nasty I mean you like what you like but I don't think ranch is nasty I think ranch kind of slaps sometimes so that's my opinion on that <laughs> Our next unpopular opinion is, this is kind of a weird one, but, should I say this on YouTube? Bad <laughs> Now look, this is how I feel about this. Um, if you're a child, close your ears. When you are buying a, that from somebody, nine times out of 10, they have already done that activity with that. So if somebody is giving you bad <laughs> then, Nine times out of ten, they know that they're giving you bad Okay, moving on. Our next unpopular opinion is that Waffle House is better than IHOP. Let's get into it. I have definitely had IHOP more than I have had Waffle House. But I have had Waffle House. And Waffle House slaps sometimes, for sure. Especially late night, you know, like you drunk or you know, or whatever, those late nights with your friends after a party or something, and Waffle House is open, it slaps. 
However, better than IHOP? I don't know. I feel like Waffle House and IHOP are in the same category. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like those are two, they're like the same to me. I don't really eat at those places often, but when I do, like, I feel like I couldn't, I personally can't choose which is better because I feel like they are damn near the same. Waffle House has some things that miss and they definitely have some things that hit and I have had some things that miss but they also definitely have some things that hit so it's like mm, I don't know the next one we have is dressing stuffing for those that um, don't call dressing 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 is nasty now I could understand why people say this however my grandpa makes some of the best dressing in the world. I've never personally made it, but I feel like if I were to make it, it would slap as well. I don't think it's nasty. I for sure eat that on my plate on Thanksgiving because this is the combination that I do. I put together turkey, greens, dressing, and cranberry sauce on one fork slaps every time and if you don't know about the iconic mac and cheese and sweet potato combination you're missing out okay so this next unpopular opinion was something that i saw online but it was also commented on my instagram so the next one is that beyonce is overrated now beyonce has her beehive and y'all not finna come for me you are not i feel like beyonce is a great artist that lady knows what she's doing when it comes to music when it comes to performing she is a performer you know what i'm saying i do feel like sometimes she is held on this like pedestal almost like she's like better than other artists and it's like beyonce for sure has talent absolutely but i'm just i guess not a super beyonce fan um, I know the classics, of course. Um, I know some that might not even be classics, you know? Like, I do have Beyonce songs that I get down to. But, she's not my favorite artist, you know? Like, there are some people that are die hard for Beyonce. And I'm not one of them. I don't want to say she's overrated. Yeah, I don't think she's overrated. I don't think she's overrated, but she's not my favorite, if that you know makes sense makes sense throughout this video you're probably going to see that I am very indecisive it is hard for me to make decisions and questions like this okay so now we are going to get into the unpopular opinions that I found online um, yeah ketchup should be in the fridge I agree completely why is your ketchup out it says it should be refrigerated on the bottle it says refrigerate after opening why is your ketchup in the cabinet and the lazy susan in the pantry it needs to be in the fridge i understand that some people don't like cold ketchup but like it's not that deep refrigerate that ketchup i'm not gonna keep playing with y'all the next one is that room temperature butter is the truth now i saw this and i said hmm do y'all ever put a piece of toast in the oven in the oven, what the fuck? Do y'all ever put a piece of to bread in the toaster, make yourself some toast, get that cold butter out and it don't want to spread? Yes, I do. When I was younger, I had a friend. I used to go to their house and they used to have butter in the fridge and then they would have butter in their cabinet. And when I was younger, I used to be like, what the fuck? Like, why do y'all got butter in y'all cabinet? It's kind of like olive oil. Like, butter doesn't necessarily have to be refrigerated. We just do refrigerate it. Butter is already a solid at room temperature. So, for it to be unrefrigerated and you just get that nice clean and you just spread it and it's already spreading, baby, look. I will put butter in the cabinet and in the fridge when I am back in my own apartment. Just know that. The next one is that watermelon is disgusting. You guys are weird. That's so weird to me. Like, I have a friend that doesn't like watermelon, and how can you not like watermelon? Watermelon is so refreshing. It is so tasty. When you get a good watermelon, 
it's over with. It's over with. I'm eating the whole thing. Like, I love a good watermelon. Stop playing it. <laughs> a good watermelon, chef's kiss. The next one is that meat. Meat. I keep fixing my hair because I feel like it looks weird because I'm at that awkward length stage. But anyways, okay. Meat is overrated. Okay, so I personally do not eat beef or pork. Those are just two meats that I've given up in the past, like, th it's been maybe like three months now. I've not had beef or pork. I'm okay without them. Chicken, I love chicken. Turkey, I fuck with turkey. Seafood, buh, sin. Meat is overrated. I can see why people say that because it's like, for example, on Thanksgiving, I could... I would be totally fine with just having greens, mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, uh, dressing, cornbread. I don't need nothing. Uh, cranberry sauce. I don't need nothing else. I mean, the turkey and like the ham, well, I don't eat pork, but when I ate ham, like it would hit, you know, like, but I don't necessarily need it, I guess. Like, I still eat it because, I mean, it's good. I don't think it's overrated, but you can do without, for sure. You can for sure do without meat. Our next one is that SZA cannot sing. You're crazy. Hold on. Listen. Shall I say anything else? Did she... You still hit it how you want it, got to keep me, I am chill. Oh, I don't even have anything to say. She can sing, period. Don't say nothing else to me. Now this next one, I could see people taking offensively. Don't. Our next unpopular opinion is that our society is not strong enough emotionally. I agree 100%. So many times you see like, Say for instance like a celebrity or somebody that does YouTube, they say something and it's like offensive or it's like slightly racist. Now I'm not excluding the people that that like Shane Dawson doing uh damn near doing blackface. You know what I'm saying? When he was doing that, uh what's that girl? I can't think of the name, but when he used to do those videos or like just honestly I can't think of any more examples, but people that say things that they know are not okay. I'm trying to think of an example that's like slight, like sometimes you say things and you know what you mean and you know in your heart you don't mean no harm by what you're saying. The world and social media just takes it and oh my God, I am so hurt by, like no you're not. I'm pretty sure what they said might have came out wrong and yeah, they probably shouldn't have posted it, but it's like, People are human, they say things sometimes that are like, mm, especially people that are highlighted by social media or um, that are, you know, known to the world. It's like, you have to watch everything you say because people are so sensitive. Like, why do you care? Like, that's just how I feel. Maybe that's just because who I am, but like, people care way too much. Moving on, social media is completely ruining communication. I completely 100% agree with this. I think that um, if we think about it, like back in our parents' day, when somebody was trying to pursue somebody, they had to do it in person. Or um, even, it got, I mean, eventually like over the phone or like through mail, like, you know what I'm saying? Like people literally genuinely had to put in effort now it takes somebody to like three of your pictures to know that they're interested you know or like you know like i guess this isn't really social media it's just technology in general but like texting you know like i said in our parents generation or my parents generation at least like my mom always told me like she had to um go to the payphone in school and talk to her boyfriend you know what i'm saying like she had to there was no texting, you know, there was none of that. They had to go on dates. They had to meet in person. There was no texting for three months before meeting. You know what I'm saying? There was no DMing. DMing me telling me I'm cute. No, you had to tell me that in person. So I do think it ruins communication. I think people's communication skills are now not as good when they are in person with somebody because a lot of people really truly haven't had that experience with 
you know, talking to somebody in person. And I honestly am guilty of it. Like, it is so much easier for me to text than it is to be in person. And that's just our generation. Like, you know, because you get nervous and stuff. And, like, my, I got social anxiety. Like, meeting people and stuff scare me a little bit. <laughs> scares me a little bit yeah i feel like communication and pursuing and courting or dating somebody it's just really messed up like kids now oh my god the kids in like the newer generation their communication skills are going to be doo-doo how else can i put it because social media has ruined that um not just social media just technology in general i think you know like you could literally text somebody and be like hey I like you but back in the day you had to take somebody out call somebody you know what I'm saying to be like hey I like you so yeah technology and everything has definitely ruined communication I agree with that that's all on my list well I guess um if you want a part two to this video let me know in the comment section down below but we have come to an end Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love every last one of you. I am definitely consistent now. And you can't tell me nothing. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that and join the family. Um, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Like I said, if you want to see a part two, let me know. Click that notification bell so that you are notified every time that I post. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.